So for today's menu, I'm serving up this crispy, bubbly, wood-fired anchovy pizza finished with a little lemon and olive oil. I must say this is quite the pie, so let's get into the recipe. All right, so first up is the dough. So in a mixing bowl, you're gonna add in the dry active yeast, warm water, honey, and a drizzle of olive oil, then give it a good mix. If you're not sure if the yeast is alive, wait for about 10 to 15 minutes for bubbles to appear. But I've been working with this yeast for the last week and know it's good, so I'm going to add in my all-purpose flour and go straight to the mixer. Bread flour or double zero flour is preferred for the recipe, but AP flour works just fine. You're gonna knead this on medium speed with the dough hook attachment for about five to seven minutes or until the dough starts to slap against the sides of the bowl and wants to crawl up the dough hook. Also, if the dough is a bit too sticky, add a little bit more AP flour to make it less tacky and a little bit easier to work with. Just FYI, this particular dough was about 110% hydration, meaning for every 10 parts of flour, I added 11 parts of liquid. Equal parts flour and water is usually a good rule of thumb when it comes to pizza dough, uh, but I wanted to try out a slightly more sticky dough this go around. Anyways, cover the dough after mixing in a well-oiled bowl and let this mature in the fridge for at least 24 hours. Trust me, it's super lame, but it's absolutely necessary for a decent pizza dough. Next up is the tomato sauce. So you're gonna mince or finely chop up some fresh garlic, get a pan on low to medium heat with a good splash of olive oil and lightly saute the garlic for about 30 seconds. Then you're gonna add in the tomato paste, water, oregano, and some chopped fresh basil. Cook this for about 20 minutes to develop the flavors, but this is a very simple and basic sauce that has all the goods. Just make sure to cool it down before assembling the pizza. Now, as far as toppings go for a pizza like this, I'm thinking about flavors that pair really well with anchovies because you need some strong competing flavors that have acid and a bit of forward flavor to match up against a very dominant anchovy. So Kalamata olives, fresh parsley, lemon zest that's macerated with a little salt and sugar to bring out the zestiness and just to tenderize them a little bit and some feta cheese as well. Last but not least, you're gonna open the can of beautiful oily anchovies and it's time to get the wood-fired oven ready. I just recently got this uni pizza oven since they seem to be a really big deal in the pizza world and they have a really good reputation among pizza experts. This model is wood and coal burning, so the trick with this one is to just make sure you maintain the heat with a few pieces of wood every 10 minutes or so. So it definitely is a labor of love, but once you get that pizza stone at about 700 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, it is time to build out the pizza. If you are relatively new to working with sticky pizza dough like I am, heavily flour the working surface so it doesn't stick to absolutely everything because it definitely is something you have to get used to. Portion the dough to about 12 ounces or so, roll it out, stretch the middle as best you can, then lay the dough around onto the peel with a little bit of cornmeal or semolina at the bottom. Top with the pizza sauce and then you're gonna give the pizza a little stretch if it's wanting to shrink back. Then you're gonna finish it off with the olives lemon zest, anchovies, and feta cheese, then off to the pizza oven this goes. Slide the pizza onto the stone and carefully watch it while turning every 10 to 20 seconds to get a really even crust all the way around. In total, it'll take about 90 seconds to two minutes to fully cook this, believe it or not, but once it's all bubbly and crispified, you're gonna remove it from the oven, top with fresh parsley, lemon juice, and a drizzle of good finishing olive oil, and your anchovy pizza is ready to be devoured. All right, that was a little crazy, but it's time to do a little taste test and see how I did. 
this anchovy pizza. It looks bomb, a little extra lemon. Goes a long way with the anchovies. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. It has a beautiful bottom layer of crispiness, as you can hear that crunch. That pizza oven is vital for that bottom layer. Mmm. Dang, that's good. That is good pizza. Mmm. This is definitely very doable in a home oven. You might not get as much bubbly nature uh, than you would from a pizza oven like the uni that I, uh, I cooked this in, but all in all, it'll still be a pretty dang good pizza. If you guys did enjoy this recipe, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, comment down below if you guys wanna see more pizza recipes like this. The ingredients will be now in my D-Box, and I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.